okay so guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel the name of the youtube channel is tech supper uh, today in this video i'm going to show you how to create a docker container that docker is becoming a buzzword in the market these days which every organization is adopting so i thought i should create a video on this how to create a docker container so guys before we start before i show you how to create a docker i will suggest you to subscribe my channel to get regular updates of my youtube channel i am creating videos on a on a daily basis on a weekly basis and once you subscribe my channel you will you will be notified with the new videos thing and then you can increase your knowledge so guys let's get started also i would like to give you one useful information i am author of oracle visual builder book if you are looking if you are looking your career in oracle visual builder you can buy this book and this book will give you a depth knowledge of oracle visual builder from basic to the end and if you are willing to buy this book you can go to this link https colon slash less facts dot live slash 3mw snr7 this link will take you to the amazon website from where you can buy this book so i have personally authored this book and the only author and this book is published by fact okay so let me just take you to uh, this terminal window. So I have a Linux box wherein I have installed the Docker. So to complete this video, you must have the Docker. If you are not sure that the Docker is installed on the machine or not, then what you can do, what you can do, you can just hit this command Docker version. So if Docker is installed successfully, it will give you this information like what is the version, what is the API version, what is the Go version. And then by looking at this information, you will be sure that yes, Docker is already there. Okay. So now, so let's start creating our first container. Okay. If Docker is installed on your machine, so I have, I'm using the Linux, Linux virtual machine. If you, if you don't have virtual machine, you can go ahead. You can create an account on any one of the cloud like AWS, Oracle, Azure, and you can create a virtual machine, the Linux virtual machine, wherein you can install a Docker. If you if you are not sure how to install a Docker, it's a simple command. It's a Linux command like yum install Docker. So this is a simple command which will help you to install the Docker and make sure you are in the loop. So I already have the Docker installed. So now let me show you how to create a Docker. So in order to create a Docker, you just need to type that command Docker and then container. Okay. And then you can name your container. Let's say you are trying to create a Ubuntu container. Okay. You can give a name to a container. This is optional. If you don't want, that's fine. U B U and D U. Let's say I am giving a name to my container. Ubuntu 01. And now you need to give the name of image. So what image you want to use to create your container. So the name of the image which will be fetched from the Docker app. If image is not there in the Docker host machine locally, then it will go to the Docker hub, download it, and it will create a container with name Ubuntu 01 from the image Ubuntu. So let me just enter it. Once I will enter, okay, maybe what's the error? Okay, and Docker. Uh, so in order to create a container, you need to specify the command like. So the command is docker container create. So create is the command to create a container. Let's say name and then Ubuntu 01 and then Ubuntu. Okay, let's enter. Now here you see it says unable to find image Ubuntu latest, latest is the tag and then locally, which means there is no image locally in my Docker host machine. So it is going to the Docker hub and it is downloading and it has created a Docker container with name Ubuntu 01. And this is the image. This is the container ID and the response will be the container ID. Now, if you wanted to see if the container has been created, what you can do, you can run a command Docker 
container ls hyphen a so this is the command which will give you the list of all containers which you have so here you see the container id it will give you in a short let's say 1598cb right and then image from which image this container is created the image name was ubuntu the command which will run and it is created 26 seconds ago the status is created and the name of my container is ubuntu 01 right now that container has been created the next step is to start the container so you can put command start which container you want to start this is the container which i want to start sorry so i want to start my Ubuntu container so once it will be started it will give you the name of the container and let's see what will be the status now. right now here you see status is exited means this the zero code here the zero code means this has been exited gracefully so the container cannot run until and unless there's a one service is associated with the container so ubuntu i have created i have started but there is no service which is associated now what you can do is let me just create a another container and let me run attach a terminal with that particular container means i will create a new container so let me run another container let's say run so run is the command which will combine create and start both means it will create a container as well as it will start the container and then name let me say one two zero two and then again i am going to create another i'm going to start a new container with name one two zero one and the image will be one two now what i'm going to do i am going to add a one option called hyphen dit what is d d stands for detached detach i for interactive and t for terminal so i am attaching a terminal with my ubuntu 02 container and it will be interactive means i will get send a response it will give me a response right so now let me enter the command here you see this time it is not downloading the ubuntu image because the ubuntu image already exists on my local system means docker host machine and it has simply created a container and you see how fast the container has been created within a millisecond now again go to this command and let's see what is happening now here you see the ubuntu zero and it is up 24 seconds ago means my docker is up and running now if you want to attach a terminal with ubuntu you have to run dit right now you can attach to the you can you can in, go inside the container by using the command let's say container attach and ubuntu okay not this one like this now here you see i am inside the container right and you can see this is the id of my container now whatever command you want to, to run you can run that command now, now i am inside my docker ubuntu container now if you want to go you can control pq right now if you want to come out from the container you can come out so now this is how you can create a container on your world linux host machine so guys that's all about this uh, short video if you like the video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get notification in your notification link list and then you can grab more and more knowledge and you can find me on linkedin twitter facebook and don't forget to see my youtube uh, my blog uh, website https colon slash slash 
www.taxsupper.com so thanks for watching the video have a good day guys bye bye